let there be So the ailing bitches <laughs> Yeah Hey guys, um Welcome I'm Alex, Alex O'Neill Host of Irrational Passions Podcast at Alfighter27 on Twitter if you'd like to find out more about me, if you are just tuning in for the first time here. If not, you're probably like, I've watched this entire video series. You don't have to introduce yourself every fucking time, Alex. Jesus, Lord Almighty. And to you, I say, okay, thank you, one, for watching the video series. I, I very much appreciate that, but there's no need to be sassy, all right? I'm just, I'm being inclusive. <laughs> um, so I'm playing, uh, Zelda games, right? Those video games that uh, have the, the legend in them. And they also happen to have a princess on occasion uh, and Link, a POI, person of interest. Um, or Pui! I bet you people are like, you people, excuse me. I bet you guys are like, what the fuck are you doing, Link? Why? Link. Alex. Wow. Lost myself. Became the character from up there. Uh, I am getting things that I'm going to need. I'm going to need several assorted items. Uh, for this uh, next section of the game. In fact, I'm going to need a lot more than this. Um... It's gonna get complicated, guys. It's gonna get very, very complicated. Uh, this part of the game, I've, I've kind of been like leading up to it, building up to it. This is like the biggest part of the game. This is the biggest chunk, section, area, everything. The full Shazam. And it is not an easy part of the game. Like, just difficulty-wise, puzzle-wise, it is difficult, it is hard. It is not easy. Uh, I, don't know, it's, I don't know how many adjectives is ferocious, is unforgiving, it is powerful, uh, oh. I don't know how many more adjectives you guys want, but, uh, I, I, I was kind of talking about it yesterday in last, last day's episode, the most recent episode, um, part 19, I'm oh, speaking of which I have to label this 20. Right. Um, but yeah, it's this part is like it's like four parts. It's like four big sections, and none of them are very short. <laughs> Especially the last, which is the actual temple, the stone tower. The stone tower is a very very difficult temple. Just by itself, it is a difficult temple. And this may be one of few cases where I actually have to, like, I'm looking for the words, guys. I'm sorry. Like, I'll, I'll have to reset the cycle before I actually go to the temple. I shouldn't have to. I'm pretty good. I'm doing okay on this game, on this progress so far. I've been making really fucking awesome time. Um, but, you know, we'll see. So, let's fight some, some of these guys. Master, you called? <gasps> what are you? It said that it's a gar. It said that it's a garo. Just concentrate on blocking and dodging the sharp swords. <laughs> Regrettable. Although my rival, you were spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. If one try tries to enter the spring water cave without knowing the song buried in a grave, that poor vi visitor shall meet with disaster. Belief or disbelief rests with you. To die without leaving a corpse. That is the way of us going. So, you see this kind of house. 
And then they're fucking give those. I got way too close. Give those. Give those. It's a give though. You won't be able to move if it glares at you, so be careful, got it. So they make this kind of section of the game not so you notice you got like a, there's a mask corresponding to each section of the game. And this area has the Gibdo mask, which I'm gonna get in a little bit, which you just use for kind of like a small chunk of this area though. Uh, one of the four bits that I kind of talked about earlier. Um, it's a Gway. You don't know about this one? Just tag before it swoops down on you, that's all that is. Good. But like this area is just oh very difficult. Yeah, so we'll, we'll kinda get there in a minute. Spirit house, bird wandering springs waiting for your eye. Uh, that's what you call. To revive the dried up river in Akana Hill, you must go to the spring water cave. Believe or disbelief for us with So these kinda of, guys kinda of give you little hints as to what you should do. So this is the spring water cave. Spring water cave. Entry prohibited due to ghost settings. So if you remember correctly, the uh, the other kind of section off part of Akana Valley is the Akana graveyard. Which we already gone through. There's basically like three little areas that you can go through each night. One gets you a bottle, one gets you a song, one gets you a heart piece. And you also have to get the captain's hat there to kind of do that. You see, you need the captain's hat so you can talk to the Skullfos or whatever. Um, and uh, have them open up the first night's grave. You only need the first night's grave. Like, you have to have that to progress the game, but you need the captain's hat to do any of the graves, so. <sighs> a little fun fact there. So you get in here, you're like, what the fuck, this place is so creepy. So the river's dried up, basically. So the music, the, the like the, the water mill attached to the music house isn't playing. The music needs to play to keep the give those away. Since the river's dried up, we're all fucked. What business do you have in the Iconic Kingdom land where only the dead roam? This is no place for one as full of life as you. Or do you say that you wish to join the dead? That's fine. If that is the case, then sleep gently as the melody of darkness that the great composer Sharp shall play. Join the ranks of the dead. So if you remember Sharp, um, we met his brother, uh, Flat. He taught us a song of storms. He said, if you see my brother play this song, you know that this, this song is my, because it's Sharp sold the soul to the devil. This is my anger embodied. No, it can't be the song. So the storm refills the river. Sharp disappears. So the river flows again. I really like this. It's, it's kind of tough to figure out, but it makes a lot of sense. So the mill starts spinning again, the music starts playing again. Very loudly, by the way, the music's very loud. Kind of on purpose, though. And the Giddos just can't handle the music. I don't know why, but I guess it was kind of made there to repel the dead. The Giddos are dead.
flat, my dear brother. Forgive my f your foolish brother who dreamt of the revival of the royal family. Ye, you do not fear the dead. With my brother's song, you have broken the curse that was placed upon me. It is all thanks to you. We dead should not be lingering here in this land. It was all a trick, all a trick of the masked one who would upset things. If you truly do not fear the dead, I wish for you to go to the temple of this land and sever the root of the evil curse that torments us. To do that, I, the only one who knows the way to the temple, shall direct you to the king. The king is in the ruins of Akana Castle, awaiting the coming of the one who will break the curse. I have made my final request. So we have to find the king of Akana Kingdom, the long dead king, whose spirit is lingering in this world, waiting for someone to set all of the dead here free, because his people, he loves his people. Maybe we should protect them. And this leads to Stone Tower, which we can't really go up to yet. Um, but yeah, Stone Tower is kind of the temple. So, the first kind of order of business is this, kind of clearing this out. And you can see there's a little girl out there, but if she sees she runs away. So first order of business was to kind of get the music flowing again. The little girl runs away. So there's people in this house. If you remember talking to Sakan, uh, there's a father and daughter here, a strange couple. Um, and the Gibdos were trying to get in there for a reason. Also this is where the Great Fairy Fountain is. Okay, um, please, fun fairies trapped in the stone tower temple. I don't want to color the same as this man back. So, in order to get to the king in the castle, which is kind of like off to the off to the left here, we need to go through the Gibdo maze. This maze of Gibdos that refuse to let you pass unless they. Their last wish is satisfy their weird hungers. So in order to do that, we need a mask, of course. That's how this game works. So if you kind of go up to the door, nothing happens, but if you put a bomb on the door, old girl comes out. She starts walking, walking away, looking, she's kind of like looking around. I, I imagine that she's just kind of like looking around. Her gone. We can get in here. So you can see this kind of like a little quaint house, I guess. The Gipto drawing, the Garo drawing. And then this fucking horrifying monster attacks you. This guy's like part Gibto. And if you draw your sword, the girl comes back. She's like, don't hurt my daddy. So what, what better way than to heal someone? So when I initially played this game, I had to look this up. Because I didn't figure out that I should play this song of healing with this poor guy. He clearly is in pain. Father? Father. Pamela. 
What have I been doing this whole time? You haven't been doing anything. You had a bad dream. You're just having a little nightmare. Pamela. So we get the Gibdo mask. You got the Gibdo mask. This mask was once the hideous face of Pamela's father. The mask looks so real that even a Gibdo would mistake you as one of its own. Let them be, don't you get it? You sound sensitive. I love that. But if you look in here, there's a bunch of like cursed seals on there. Teddy bear wrapped in Gibdo binding, which is really creepy. So like she had been locked she had locked her father in like a fishbone. Let's assume she fed them in a bucket for I guess waste. She had like locked her father in here because she was terrified, but she still her father. Very, you know, again, a, a story told through environment, which is something that really only video games can do, which I really like. Last of Us does it very, very well. Um, this is a fucking really depressing story. Um, so you can go back in and kind of talk to them. Um, what you did for my father, thank you. But you helping us, it's a secret for my father. Whenever anything strange happens, my father immediately starts talking about doing research. He has all kinds of crazy things, too. Once he calms down a bit, I think I'll try convincing him to quit researching in this dangerous place and go back to town. So, if my father sees you again, I'm sorry. Oh, isn't this a fairy? Is this yours, young man? I'm the famed academic who researches fairies, ghosts, and similar so-called supernatural phenomena. By the way, the song Farewell to Gibdos, which the music box is now playing, drives away any Gibdos. I discover it after many years of researching Gibdos. In regards to ghosts, there isn't another academic who can match my knowledge, so ask me anything you like. It's been some time since I've seen a fairy this lively. Say, young man, would you permit me to do research on this thing? Mm. Oh, that's certainly a gift, though. Oh man, where did you get that? Mm. The more I look at it, the more the mask looks like a real gift to me. With this mask, you probably could convey your feelings to Gibdos. Perhaps you could even investigate the Gibdo life form itself. Say, young uh, man, would you make me do research on that mask? You're curious about that picture? This is a ghost of a ninja. Its scientific name is Garo Robe. They are merely shells that are empty on the inside. They're the shells of spies from an enemy nation sent to investigate Akana. They've been able to forget their living days. Even now, this spirit's emptiness, cloaked in darkness, continues to spy. According to the rumor, those Garo frequently appear near the ranch on the far side of town. Are you curious about that picture? It's Mummified Man. The scientific name is Gibdo. Tale in Akana tells of a treasure that rests at the bottom of the well on the hilltop. It seems the spirits of those who became Gibdos upon entering the well in search of that treasure still linger inside. It's been said going down there is a petrifying experience, so even a mummy hunter may become mummified. I wonder what happened to you. Two freezes grow up. The girl fucking kicks you out for anything. Um. All right. Let's see. Going down here real quick. Don't worry, it's it's relevant, it's important. It turns red. What is some something red? Is that the same song? Wow. <laughs> I've never seen you never see Navi turn red or anything. 
I really like Tattle. She's really good. It's like such a great improvement over her Navi. Let's see something that looks the same as himself. You got a blue potion. Replenish all your health and magic power. In the meantime, just throw in the bottles you take with you. So I'm curious, like, this is kind of like a, a trading game between these guys. I'm trading this keys and stuff. I'm here to sell blue potion. Actually, I want to do business with Sea Breeze while listening to the sound of waves. But to open a business in another place, you need to go through the proper channels first. You know what I mean? Dun, dun, dun. All right, so we've got the Gibdo mask. We kind of talked to the Gib Gibdo research guy. He's like, yeah, Gibdos would even think you're a Gibdo. And he told us about the well. And there's like mummies in the well, like spirits trapped in there looking for treasure. Um, so over here is a kind of castle. Kana Castle front gate. Use what you will. This use what you will. This sealed gate shall never open. Basically, we need to project sunlight onto this. We don't have the mirror shield yet. I forgot about the mirror shield. Um, so right now, the only lead we have is this fucking well. Let's go there. Again, I'm, I don't know why, but I'm pretending like I don't know what's going to happen next. But I was kind of saying like this area breaks down into four parts. Um, I think I was including... So, like, one is the graveyard, right? Uh, which I'll, I'll say spills over into this. Um, um, the second part is this well, uh, which is kind of like this series of puzzles, uh, where you just have to bring certain things to give those to make them happy. Leave it, leave it. Leave me something delicious to chomp on. Something that sprouts when it's watered, preferably five of them. This guy's right. Leave it, leave it. Leave me something blue that bestows health. So, basically, you just have to present these Gibdos with certain things. Um, and then, uh, actually, I think I can do it from here. And then they'll, like, disappear and let you go through their door. It's a bunch of that. It, like, the well is a bunch of that, but it's very time-consuming. So the first two things you have to bring, uh, you have to bring them, like, from the outside. But the rest of the items you can find inside of the well. There's a bunch of weird rooms. God damn it. Um, you guys will see, but the well takes a lot of time. It's like a, a miniature dungeon kind of in of itself. And then there's the part before it where you have to get the Song of Storms, which would take up a whole day if you if I didn't already do it. I like to do the, the graveyard off like by itself. Um, I just prefer it because like then I can I just do my own cycle because you have to get the thing on the third day as well and blah blah. Um, 
So, I just do the graveyard all in one cycle, that way it doesn't interfere with anything. Take five. That's why I, I got out a bunch of rupees. Uh, so I can kind of do this. So I could get that blue potion and then get these. In there, and I might have to get some other stuff. We'll see. That's why I kind of got out extra rubies. And I have to get the, that cave as well. I need that. You'll, you guys will see what I need that for. I'll tell you this much when I get to that point that's in the castle where you need the powder keg, anytime I get to that point and I had forgotten to get a powder keg, I am so fucking pissed off. Because it's horribly convenient to leave and then come back at that point. Uh. Yeah, there's the, the kind of the graveyard and the area, of, this area of like breaking the curse on the river and getting that going, getting the Gibdo mask and all that shit. And then there's the well, which is part two. Which is already very long. Then there's the kind of castle, part three, which is just it's it's its own dungeon. There is there are rooms, keys, puzzles, and then you get the mirror shield, kind of in between the well and the the castle. It's you get like an item that you use for puzzles, and then you fight a boss. Like you actually fight a fucking boss, which you don't really do in. Uh, the pirate thing. I mean, you fight the pirate leaders, but you know, it's not like it's super bossy. Uh, but then you fight a boss. You fight a, a very tough boss that I've died on before. It's not, it's not going to be tough this time, but... It is kind of like a, an enemy, like a regular enemy redressed for bossitude, but... I believe I want to go this way first. Ah, fucking piece of shit. Deliciously fresh. You see, this place is a fucking death trap. Enemies everywhere. Preferably ten of them. Don't have ten of them. Uh, I believe what this guy actually wants is a fish. Something deliciously f fresh? I think so. No. Something deliciously fresh, yeah. Uh, I believe that's a fish. Uh, this, this. No, I haven't gotten a fish in here yet, but I can get it on the other door. Uh, it's like it's just like a fish pond. Uh, I remember how to get these guys to be little buds, but obviously. I'll keep pressing forward and then we'll see if I can do that. Come on. 
Come on. Yeah, this area is just a whole bunch of, uh... Getting items, taking them to different places, trying to remember. Oh, I have the map. Okay, good. I don't think I've ever actually seen the map. Like, I, I always use, like, my strategy guide map. I didn't know. The Econa Valley map work on this area. Um... I know, wool masters are the fucking freakiest and the worst, I get it. Ah, this, this, I bear no remorse. You're kind of like setting their spirits free, which is the theme of this whole area. And... Oh, I've never seen them fall like that, that's awesome. You can kill these Gibdo, and they just, they, they'll respawn after you leave the room, basically. Leave it, leave it, leave me something warm that can melt ice and Quench one's spirits. Melt ice and quench one's spirits. Oh, it's the, uh, the hot spring water. I do not have that. Leave it, leave it. Leave me ten refreshing blasts. Uh, I have nine. Son of a bitch. Why am I flying back like that? Come back, plants! Come back! So you can see this area is just kind of fucking time consuming. It's not, it's not like a horrible. Series of puzzles. Like I said, time consuming. <coughs> Alright, we'll keep pressing forward. Luckily, I have six fucking bottles. No wonder they give you so many bottles in this game because they fucking make you do so many bottles. The fire bottles. All of the decu bud seed things nuts. Uh, let's light this bitch up. Ghost, big one at that. Nope. So the big po is the only thing that you have to get in here. You can get pretty much anything else, everything else, in other places. So it's small and creepy. Bug man. Ugh. I bear you no remorses. I don't know why they keep those are like snakes. Well, I just got freaked out for a second there. Ah. Treasure chest. I don't remember what's in the treasure chest. Oh, 
purple ruby. Yay. There he is. Uh. I need bombs, man. I'll go in here again and see if I can get bombs. Ah, god, this is useless. No keys. I wonder why they named the bats in Zelda keys. Ugh, god, maybe because it just makes you want to fucking kill them more. God, I hate keys. Alright, let's go through here. So we have to go through this area as well to get the big... The big toe. There's a fish, if you need a fish. Oh, kids don't know what H2O is. Ah. Oh, it also wants fish. You don't have it. I have no need for you. Away. Hey. Oh. That's why they have it. Okay, that's why they give you the option. So the reason, like, they kind of give you the I, I'm remembering now. The reason they kind of give you the short way out there is because. Uh, you have to bring hot spring water from this side over there. And you have a time limit for that, obviously. Fuck you. What are they called? That's a Dexahan. Just be careful. Look. It's not my fault if you get too close and it grabs you. Well, too late. Man, fuck those decks of hands. I, I had no idea what they were called. They're coming up on our time here, but I'm gonna... Uh, let's see how far I get. Maybe I'll beat the big Poe and then we'll... Uh, call it. How about some bombs? That'd be nice. There they are. You guys can probably hear me just fucking viciously spinning the analog stick. Masters are the fucking worst. They scare the shit out of me. Ass, man. Small and creepy. God damn it! They both want bugs. All right. Well, if I'm going back over. I might as well bring my fucking hot spring water. Uh... Oh. 
pretty sure if his Zora gets hit by fire, he like dies instantly. It's awful. It's just the worst. Alright. Let's do this. So, the thing that makes this tricky, as I'm remembering it now, is if I get hit by that ice keys, the spring water automatically turns. And that's that's a real fucking bummer. I'll let you know. It's right here. song. Uh, 42, we're not doing too bad. Apparently this song just gets cows all hot and bothered. Nice music reminds me of the pasture. So it just makes me want to let go and put out a lot of milk. <laughs> Milk will make you very healthy. Uh. <laughs> I love that they make the noise. It's fucking really funny to me. It's me. Alright guys, this is going to be the last thing we do here. Look at this big ass fucking time. You know about the big pot, right? Knock it back. Stop it. Take a shot. guys, that's gonna wrap it up as we capture this big fucking foe. Which just looks like a purple bottle. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We will continue this well of adventures next time. But in the meantime, if you like what you hear, please subscribe. I'm doing these Monday through Friday. We'll be back on Monday. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna finish up this goddamn annoying uh well puzzle and then we're gonna we're gonna go through a Kana castle which is gonna be fun i like a Kana castle a lot it's a it's a fun dungeon even though it's like a mini dungeon uh, a legitimate mini dungeon not a bonus dungeon mini dungeon or a mid dungeon if i may um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys t uh, on Monday. As I get eaten by a uh, wall master. <laughs> <laughs>